Did your income tax refund fail to reach you? Or do you want to submit condemnation of delay request for filing after it is time barred or verifying ITR? You can do it by submitting a service request on the e-filing portal. You must be registered on the e-filing portal to use this service. Once logged in, you can raise a service request for the following refund issue in case of failed refund. Condemnation of delay for late submission of ITR via after 120 days of filing your ITR and condemnation request if you fail to file your ITR before the last date. Service requests must be e-verified. In order to e-verify your request, you can use Aadhaar OTP, EVC or DSC. For more details, refer to the video how to e-verify. To raise a refund reissue request, you should have filed a return for which a refund has failed. Observe how to raise the request. After you have logged into the e-filing portal, go to the services menu and select refund reissue. On the next page, the status of refund reissue requests you previously made are displayed. To create a new request, click create refund reissue request. On the Create Refund Reissue Request page, select the record for which you want to submit the request, and click Continue. On the Select Bank Account page, you need to select an account where you would like to receive the refund. If your selected bank account is not validated, you need to pre-validate it on the e-filing portal. Watch the My Bank Account video to learn how. Note the solutions listed on screen in case your bank account has to be revalidated or cannot be validated online. If the selected bank account is already validated and EVC enabled, click proceed to verification. After successful verification of your bank details, you will be taken to the e-verify page. Select your preferred option, Aadhaar OTP, DSC, or EVC, and click Continue. To learn how to e-verify your service requests, refer to the How to e-verify video. After successful verification of your request, you will get a success message along with a transaction ID. Note the transaction ID for future reference. Now, let's see how to raise a request for condemnation of delay in submission of ITRV. To raise such a request, you should have filed a return but failed to submit the ITRV within 120 days of filing. Post login to the e-filing portal, go to the services menu and select condemnation request. On the next page, Select Delay in Submission of ITRV and click Continue. On the next page, you will see details of the ITRV requests you submitted till date. Click Create Condemnation Request. On the next page, select the record for which you want to raise a request and click Continue. On the next page, select the reason of your delay and click Submit. On submission of the request, a success message will be displayed. In case of failure to file your ITR before the end of the relevant assessment year, you need to raise a condemnation request for being allowed to file ITR after it is time barred. Post login to the e-filing portal, go to the services menu and select condemnation request. Then, select allow ITR filing after time barred and click continue on the next page you will see the details of itr time barred requests submitted till date if any click create condemnation request as part of the condemnation request you need to enter these details request category ay itr form filing type claim value and reason for delay then click attach file under upload itr option to upload the utility generated file up to 5 megabytes 
If you have any supporting documents, you can upload a maximum of 5 documents by clicking attach file under upload documents. These documents can only be PDF or Excel files lesser than 2 megabytes each. Once done, click submit. Then, you will be taken to the e-verify page. After successfully verification, you will get a success message and transaction ID. It is so simple to raise service requests on the e-filing portal. Connect with us for more information.